Okay, let's start off talking about how you name the strings of the guitar. First of all, the lowest string is the thickest string. That sometimes confuses people when they're starting out. They think of lowest as physical. Uh, this is often something with beginners I have to straighten out. The lowest is the thickest string. And we're thinking in terms of musical pitch. It's the lowest note. So when you say lowest and you're playing guitar, you're talking about the lowest note. Lowest string is called an E, and the highest string is called an E. Then from there, if you start from the sixth string, it's E, A, D, G, and second to the highest is B, and then E. Sounds like a lot to remember, huh? It's not that hard if you just take a little time to remember it, and it's important. It really is helpful for a lot of reasons, which you'll find out more as you start learning. So one way to learn is to just quiz yourself a little bit at a time. E, A, D. So say that with me. I'll give you an example. E, A, D. Let's go the other way, starting with this string. D, A, and E. Or I often say low E to distinguish it from high E. And then you might want to quiz these top three strings. P three strings. <laughs> e, B, and G. Okay, I didn't expect you to remember it yet. Let's try it again. E, B, and G. And you can just, if you do this a little bit each day for a week, you'll have it. And at some point, just quiz yourself on all the strings up and down. E, A, D, G, B, and then E, and then go the other way. E, starting with the top string. B, as in boy. D, oh, I said D. G, <laughs> D, A, and low E. Spend a little time each day and you'll have this. Now, another aspect of this, some people refer to the strings by numbers and often you'll hear both. This is the sixth string, especially when you change strings. They often say, this is the number of the string, sixth string. And the top string is the first string. Yeah, sixth is the lowest and first is the highest. So this is number one, the highest string. Number two for B. Number three is G, very good, you getting it? Now, number four, can you guess? D, five is A, and six is E. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, another numbering system is the frets, and this one's pretty easy. The first fret is the first metal bar, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, and fifth fret. Now, some guitars have dots on the side of the guitar to help you see when you're sitting up right where the third, fifth, seventh. This one has ninth and two dots at the twelfth fret. None of my nylon strings have that, but a lot of acoustic guitars, steel string guitars have that. So if you have that, great. If you don't, really don't worry about it. You'll memorize where they are soon enough. Also, we want to number the fingers. Left hand. We don't count the thumb. First finger, second finger, third, and fourth or pinky. I often just call it the pinky, and I hear some people say little finger. So first, second, and third is most common that you'll see for numbering. This is particularly uh, helpful when you're making chords because you'll say fourth finger, I use fourth finger for when I'm writing chord diagrams, is the pinky. And you're gonna put your fourth finger on the third fret first string. So first string is the high string, the third fret is one, two, three, and the pinky goes right there. When I say on the fret, I don't mean on top of it, just before the fret, or before is in this way. So that's the fourth finger, third fret, first string. Let's try another one. Sixth string, third finger, third fret. That's the third finger, first, second, third finger, third fret, one, two, three, and the sixth string right there. Kind of like a puzzle, huh? Okay, let's try one more. Fourth string, second fret, mm, second finger. So one, two, fourth string, that's right here. One, two, three, four, and first fret, second fret. Now here's a chord, a D chord. I'm gonna put my second finger on the second fret, first string, first finger on the Third string, second fret, 
And then on the second string, I'm going to put my third finger on the third fret, second string. Did I get that right? Yeah. I want to encourage you to practice a little bit of what we talked about in this video. Just kind of quiz yourself. Go through the names of the strings, the numbers of the strings, and then quiz yourself. Give yourself a little test. Say, first finger, sixth string, second fret. And then first finger, sixth string, put your finger there. Do that a little bit. In the next video, I'm going to go over some very practical ways to help you to hold the guitar properly. I'll see you over there.